walks of life have gathered here in central London, demanding an end to racism and hate crimes. They're calling for an end to sinophobia, that is, racism directed towards people of Chinese and East Asian uh, background. Now, the Metropolitan Police says that sinophobic uh, attacks, sinophobic incidences have increased by 300% since early 2020, that is, since the start of the pandemic. And people are here are saying they want it to end. But it's not just sinophobia, it's all forms of uh, racism. There are people here from Indian backgrounds, from African backgrounds, from European backgrounds, but the message is the same. They've had enough of racism and hate crimes uh, and violence that is related to racism. And really, it's a push for governments to take notice, to look at their policies, to change their policies so that it is fairer, so that minority groups are protected. They're also calling for the uh, safe and fair treatment of refugees. Now, the idea is for the protesters here, of which there are at least several hundred, if not more, to march uh, across central London to Parliament Square and make their voices heard there. But really, the underlying message is an attack on one community uh, is an attack on all communities. The idea is for solidarity against racism.